Go for some Brighton TV and this is a match preview for Brighton vs Arsenal. This will be a great match and hopefully we can pick up the three points. Yeah, I mean, last time we played them, we beat them, so let's hope for the same result. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we've got good form against them and it will be amazing if we pick up the three points. Yeah, the thing is we'll be out without Dunk, who last time played an amazing part in, against them, which he scored a goal. But it's fine, we've got Duffy, but it'll, be, yeah, but it'll be better if we had Dunk as well. Yeah, but without our two two of our wingers, we only have Knockout and Marge, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping they could play today, uh, Jahan Batch and his Kiedo, because I think their ability late game yeah, could be, be amazing. Because Knockout is a bit too tired after a bit. Yeah, and Arsenal are without uh, holding Monroyal and Bellerin, they're out. <laughs> which is... And uh, Mkhitaryan is out, which yeah. is good, because... Most of their outs are, are defenders anyway, which is good. Especially Bellerin is really quick, and yeah. Yeah, Montoya uh, for us, Montoya and Bernardo, them two are like really fast as well. They would, I think, now they'd be able to play against them better if they were playing. Yeah, and um, if Adole plays, which he probably will, because Bellerin is not playing, he could like score, and Bellerin wouldn't be there to like catch him up. Yeah, and Dono plays amazing. As we saw against the Chelsea match, when he got subbed on, he started pressing them and he yeah. was the reason why we scored. Yeah, definitely. And in the Crystal Palace game, he's got a really good goal. Yeah, but anyway, that's what you call it. So, no goal. Well, the solo goal, just look at that. Yeah, look at that. You were mascot like six years ago or something. Oh, yeah, that was an amazing experience. of <laughs> insane. Yeah, definitely. And um, I saw on the Sky Sports predictions by a uh, pundit on there that they said oh yeah brighton versus arsenal might be three two for arsenal but i think for brighton two goals <laughs> yes that's good yeah i would be happy with two goals but not conceding but i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to yeah i wouldn't want to lose the game i'd rather get a point or three points yeah <laughs> like i'm pretty sure every brighton fan would want a point against the team like arsenal yeah we beat them last season so hopefully we can do it this season yeah like i've heard uh we've won our last three in the top flight against Arsenal which is incredible yeah which is good and hopefully we can make it for yeah like Arsenal definitely their player to watch it's not even a question just look at their top scorer Aubameyang Aubameyang is amazing he's quick as well he's got a really good shot so the goal he scored against Tottenham and stuff like that it's just good yeah, and Arsenal will have a better goalkeeper than last season in Leno. Like, we saw um, Czech could made, have been the reason for yeah, both of our and goals. Made, and he made loads of mistakes last season, didn't he? Yeah, like, Murray's goal was saveable. I'm yeah. pretty sure Duffy's goal, if not Duffy, Dunn's goal from the corner, he just made a mistake there. So let's hope Leno decides to become Carrius and makes a couple of mistakes. Definitely. Because Leno's been playing all right this season, but... You know, he could get a few mess-ups. Yeah, for um, midfield for Brighton, it's a bit questionable. We have a lot of midfielders who want to play. Who do you think would play? Stevens, Basuma uh, and um, Gross. So, no proper? Oof. Yeah, probably proper as well. So, you'd play four in midfield? Ah, oh, it's so hard, <laughs> man. Yeah. Um... Yeah, probably. <laughs> There's that, so many yeah. midfielders, like, you have to, like, pick loads. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, if we had Dunk for this game, I think maybe putting him into five at the back to deal with their striking, but we can't. So I think playing all four of our midfield and no wingers, and if we need to, at half-time, sub off, like, maybe Stevens and yeah. Murray for knockout and march, and that would be, like, a good strike for uh, good wingers as well. Yeah, well, that would be good as well. Yeah, I can see March easily playing this game. He's an amazing he's so defensive yeah. midfielder. Like I said, every preview, like he's just good all rounder. Yeah, he does a lot of assists as well. So, what's your score predictions? Uh, I think it's one one. I think Aubameyang's gonna score for them, and uh, Murray's gonna score for us. Yeah, I, I'm thinking two one, same as last season. I'm thinking Duffy will score for us and. Pascal Gross, I don't know. I just feel like recently Gross has been playing amazing but hasn't got his goal, I think, today. <laughs> as as everywhere. Uh, he's going to score and uh, Bamiyang to score for them. Yeah, Bamiyang definitely. If he, if Arsenal get a goal, probably it's going to be a Bamiyang. Yeah, chances he, are. He's, he's top goal scorer and he's just really good. 
Yeah, let's hope Ozil isn't as creative as he was against Burnley, that part of Zayn when I saw the match of the day. Yes. Oh yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram.